Hello, people of the world, people of YouTube. Um, Paul Whittakin back with my good friend here. The periodic table of mathematics. The universal law of numbers. And um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to basically tie uh, the square root of 2 into the universal law of numbers code. And uh, at one point where I left off, I basically worked with, um, I showed you, or I demonstrated how the natural logarithm E follows the uh, periodic table of mathematics, the universal code. I've demonstrated that pi and 2 pi are also uh, found inside of the universal law of numbers code. I've demonstrated that the Fibonacci numbers are part or described in the universal law of numbers code. I've shown that phi is also described uh, in the universal law of numbers code. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, finish the sequence here by showing you how this other universal number, the square root of 2, another elusive character, also follows the universal law of numbers code. Because um, the universal law of numbers code is a very special number. Uh, it deserves its place in history. It's been uh, overlooked. Now, um, how has it been overlooked? Well, I'm going to show you what I think happened. Okay, so this, this has been overlooked. That's what the problem is. You know, what is that? It's just uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, all the way down to 81. So that's what that is. So you could, uh, the same thing is just writing from the numbers 1 to 81, and that's what this is. And this contains a wealth of information as well, because uh, it's an entire textbook of geometry. All of the geometric forms are described in this, and it's also the Cartesian coordinate system right there. There's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. There's a line right there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's a line right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That uh, splits up the square into four triangles. And um, in, if it were a square, it's not exactly a square, uh, just because of the way my boxes are. But, uh, you know, split it up like this. You have four squares. If you want to look at these each individually, there are 81 squares. Inside of those squares are uh, multiple squares. It would be, you know, 16 squares, I guess, if there were four by four. But all of the geometric forms can be described uh, by that very matrix. So, uh, for me, and I'm not even a mathematician, but I don't understand how mathematicians uh, can so easily overlook uh, this and not uh, understand that basically it's the alphabet of mathematics. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are the ABCs. When we learn to read and write, we learn the ABCs uh, and the alphabet for a reason, because, you know, we put those vowels and consonants together and create words, and now we can read and write. And the same thing applies with mathematics. If we put these numbers together, 3, 6, 9, that forms a word as well, and now we can read and write. 2, 5, 8, that's a word. Now we can read and write it. 1, 4, 7, that's another word. Now we can start to understand it. And what I've discovered on my own, apparently, uh, is that uh, all mathematics is essentially the 369 code. 
And, um, you know, if you want to say 258, yes, that's the 369 code. You want to say 147, yes, that's the 369 code. You want to say 818, yes, that's the 369 code. You want to say 248751, yes, that's the 369 code. And now we're off to uh, the square root of 2. So the square root of 2, basically, I'll pull this down for the moment. It's just one of those universal numbers, irrational numbers as they're referred to, that don't seem to uh, follow any particular sequence. But what we have here, once again, is we have uh, these universal numbers, uh, natural logarithm e, pi, phi, square root of 2, Fibonacci, they are all related. And they're related in such a way as though they're brothers and sisters. But the father of the system is the universal law of numbers code. Okay? And that's why, even though they're all very special numbers, they, uh, they belong to the one universal number. The one and only perfect number. And that's what that is. So now we're going to go on to the square root of 2. So basically, I use the same system. You know, I uh, just take the first numbers of the square root of 2, which is 1.4121. I add 1.4121 to that number, and then add 1.4121 to that number. And I, you know, I do not go to infinity, because once I see the sequence, I understand that it's uh, going to continue on to infinity. And if anybody wants to or objects to that, uh, well, they can go on to infinity, but I have a lot of faith in my universal number because, after all, it is the universe, you know, it's the only universal number. So it's the only perfect number. It's the only number that uh, comprises the entire uh, spectrum of what we understand to be mathematics. So when we uh, take the square root of 2 and using my uh, technique, that method, methodology, the first four num three numbers are actually 488. Eight. But then it follows this sequence, 7261594483. Okay, and uh, as far as I can tell, no matter how many times you add 1.4121, on to the number, it will continue on with the sequence right here, 7261594483. So we have the 714 code, 714, otherwise known as 417. We have the 258 code, which we find in uh, the universal law of mathematics, the 258 code is uh, one of the main codes, and it's, it appears everywhere, but 528, 582258. Two, so we can see that there's the 258s are separated by 2. 2 separate 2, 5 separate 2, 8. Separate 2 back to 2. Okay, the 258 code is part of the whole code. Also, the 181818 code is part of the 25, uh, part of the 369 code. And we also have, so we have the 714 code, we have the 258 code, and we have, of course, the 396 code, or 369 code. If you look at it like this, 369, 936, or 396, uh, it is positioned exactly where it needs to be. And um, basically, we already see the 369 code, the universal law of numbers code, uh, in the square root of 2. But basically, what I do is I continue on, and I add the next number of the square root of 2, and I see what kind of uh, sequence I get now. 
Now I get a little bit of a different sequence, but it's still the uh, 369 code because obviously it's uh, 3 separated by 2 is 6, separated by 2 is 9. It has the 714 code in it as well, separated by 2, 7 and 1, separated by 2, 4, separated by 2, back up to 7. So it has the 714 co code in it as well. 258 code in it as well, and now it's the 369 in that um, order. Back to normality. So what I did was I take it one step further and I add the next number on, and that would be 1414213 followed by the 5, and just add that upon itself. Uh, to infinity, which of course I did not go to infinity, but um, you come up with the 369 code. So it's just like Phi did that uh, as well. It's basically all of these universal, your universal numbers are the 369 code. And that's what I'm uh, demonstrating uh, today. And I hope I've demonstrated that sufficiently for your purposes. Okay, now one thing I did notice uh, in the beginning where it starts with the 488, well that seems to be, uh, you know, its own code uh, of the square root of 2 because, you know, 4 plus 8 is 12, which is a 3, 4 plus 8 plus 8 is 20, which is a 2, and 8 plus 8 is 16, which is a 7, and you see that in there too because you have 3, 7, 2, 2, 7, 3, 7, 2, 3. And that's its own personality. But once again, the reason that the square root of 2 follows this sequence is because it's a universal number. It comes from the universe. It comes from this universe right here. This universe right here. <laughs> and this universe uh, right here it deserves attention, and I'm trying to bring that, uh, you know, it's deserved attention to the world. So, uh, for today, that uh, concludes this presentation. My name is Paul Whittakind, and I'm coming to you from the University of the Universe, which is the best university that there is, and it's giving us today the universal law of numbers, which is the periodic table of mathematics. So, ciao.